Okay, so uh, this is a simple presentation of a bit series plugin, and for that presentation, I'm using the top-down template in your editor. So, uh, what is the a bit series plugin? Uh, the intention of that plugin is to make it uh, easier for you to develop simple tasks like uh, small character animating inter inter interactions, uh, combat systems, but the idea is to make it simple. Uh, like if you are an, an artist but don't know much about programming or have the basics but uh, need to make a little, a little more or just uh, or just want to prototype something or make something smaller, the a bit serious plugin is it's it's the that's the intention of the plugin. So uh, at first I'm taking the top down template. As you can see, let's play it. Seems okay. Alright. So uh, the first step to make it work is to change our character path. Let's make it to be um, ABS base player character. As you can see, uh, everything related to a bit series plugin starts with ABS, so it's easier to find out what's came from ABS and what's not. Uh, when we Change that class as you can see a lot of new attributes. Let's filter by ABS. There it's at combat variables and that attributes and other combat variables, but it's attack delay, it states, show damage, use complex damage, resistance, it will be useful for combat system. <coughs> Have some uh, dispatchers. And we have the status system. It's all done, just changing the classes. Now let's test to check if it's working. Seems all normal. Okay, so uh, the next step is to let's create an enemy. So, first, let's create a new folder called enemy. And for the sake of the speed of this demonstration, uh, I'm using the Infinite Blade adversaries just to use it as parametrics. So let's start to create an enemy. Blueprint class, it will be an ABS based enemy character. Let's make it a base enemy. Okay, so as you can see, it has some. Some of the same same stuff as the same attributes as you can see from the character, but it has some IA values. That's IA values is just a setup that I'll explain later. But at first, that you can see it's quite simple. So let's put a mesh on it. Let's try to use um, twelve. Presenter is a good one. It's a little bigger. Let's make it smaller. Let's rotate it to forward. Okay. Let's reduce its size. 0.6 should be okay. It's a little lower, but that's not the point right now. So, basically, we have an enemy that will follow the character everywhere. Let's let's check this. Place it and play it. Okay, it's wandering around. It didn't see me, but it's not. Oh, it's following me now. It saw me. So that's it. But you can see that moment when it stop, it should be attacking. But since we didn't make any animation. It just keep falling around, but static. If it was a monolith block, it would be very terrifying. But <laughs> that's not the point here. So let's try to make it a little beautiful and go on a 
good series preview content animation. As you can see, we have this guy. It's just a sample, but it has uh, all the mapping we need to make animation work. Uh, usually, I don't recommend to use that unless you are short on time, like now. So, let me duplicate this guy. Allow, uh, show, let's uncheck that guy and remap in front of it with front one point. Let's pick up control. Okay. And let's change the directory to the enemies folder. Okay. And retarget. Okay, that's it. We have it written here. But as you can see, it didn't move because uh, we didn't tell which animation it should use. So let's look up if we have a good idle animation. Control, control, control. Here, control idle new. Okay, that's a good idle. Uh, walking, let's see if we have some animation walking. Walk forward, here it is. And. For charging, let's keep the idle home, okay. And attacking with attack and the recharge. Let's try aggro just to make a difference. <coughs> and we need when it's dead, but we don't need it much. Let's compile it. Now let's test it to see if it's okay. So what delta? Good, good, it's moving, but it's quite slow. We can see it was faster. For that reason, we go there and hit walk speed to two. And let's test now. Let's see how the walk will behave. Okay, two is good. Let's make it the four. Compile it. Let's test it again. Let's see. Okay, it's still. Oh, we forgot one important thing. We create the blueprint. Let's rename it. So, user basic enemy ID. Now, let's bind it to our mesh here. Here it is base enemy NEBE. -E. Compile it. Now, let's check it out. Okay, I was good. It's just walking around because it didn't see me. It's also had limited vision. It's quite fast for a troll. Let's make it slower. Let's try to get his attention. Oh, where is it? Oh, here it is. They found me. You see, it's attacking and charging. And that's it. We got some enemy simple, but so far we didn't set up anything. How fast it is, how much it takes to attack, and the combat system. But I left it for later. Right now, I'll finish that one just to show you how simple it is to make a uh, interactive and enemy following. See ya!